Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. It's March 16th, and it is 10.05 in the morning. Your girl is just getting out of bed. So have on my um, nightgown, so excuse me. But I wanted to tell you guys, I know this is not Monday, so this is not the official week six, I think, um, keto results. But I did weigh myself this morning. I tested and I'm definitely still in ketosis. So that makes six weeks straight that I've been in ketosis. I'm so excited about that. And um, after I went to the restroom, I decided to weigh myself because I'm addicted. And I know that's bad, but you guys, based on, because I have two competitions going. Based on the competition with my friend, which started the night before the competition at work, I have lost 15.2 pounds, you guys, okay? 15.2 pounds, right? Okay, in six weeks. And based on the competition at work, which started the next day, the Monday morning, and obviously I weighed myself after I went to the bathroom, um, I have lost two pounds less because I was two pounds lighter that next morning. And I went with that weight because our weigh-in time for the work competition is Monday mornings. So I was um, two pounds lighter the next day which means i've lost based on my work competition i've lost 13.2 pounds and i'm so excited because obviously i'm in my mind i'm going with the the larger weight i've lost 15 pounds in six weeks and i have not stepped foot in the gym at all i've still been eating great i've still been having so like I just can't believe it. And I can feel the difference in my clothes. My jeans are baggy. My skinny jeans are baggy now. I still wear them because I have not dropped two sizes yet. I said I would buy myself a few work slacks and another pair of jeans um, after I have dropped two sizes. Every two sizes I drop, I'll purchase stuff. But one size is just not enough. But I definitely wore um, some slacks to work this week that was one size smaller. I had one, no, I actually have three or four pairs of slacks that are um, one size smaller than I was. And I could not get in them. I wore them all day. I was comfortable in them. I had actually space in the thigh area because if you guys don't know, I carry a lot of my weight in my thighs. And um, I had room in them. I was fine. I didn't feel like my circulation was getting cut off. So I'm really excited about that. Of course, I gave all the other slacks to my sister <laughs> when I moved. But I'll just have to purchase more. It's okay. It's a good thing. Um, so I'm really excited. I hit the 15-pound mark. I'm really excited. Now, my benchmarks are 20 pounds. Um, because I would like to lose between 50 and 60 pounds, obviously. So every 20 pounds, like I am definitely going to treat myself with something great. So I think in the next, um, maybe month I'll hit the 20 pound mark, hopefully. And this is without exercise. I can tell that my stomach is not poking out past my breast anymore. I can tell that my breasts are actually losing weight and getting smaller because I have a lot of extra space on the sides in my bra. And I'm also using the tightest um the tightest latches on my bra now so, or on my bras so i'm really really excited about that um it's not hard i love it i've just i just cannot believe that i'm getting these results just from eating ketogenically and i'm still eating to be full like i said last night i went to sardis and got a whole half a chicken and double green beans as my sides and i ate you know a quarter of chicken and i ate half of the green beans i was full i ate pickles for i showed you guys i had pickles for a snack um for lunch i had salmon and cauliflower rice rice cauliflower for breakfast i had yesterday i ran out of eggs i gotta get some today so i had literally like four or five pieces of bacon because that's all i had left cooked for the week and you guys the scale is moving down like what <laughs> 15 pounds i'm so excited okay Another good win is um, I purchased a couple years ago, I purchased my ex-husband a, um, I think I may have told you guys this, but for one of his birthdays, I purchased him a um, ride on lawnmower and I also got the bagger attachment. And if you guys didn't know, that's not included, which is crazy to me. Lady is going crazy. Let me let her in. She sees me. Um... Um, I'm gonna give her some breakfast too. 
So I purchased him a ride on lawnmower with the additional bagger attachment. So it was quite a pretty penny, especially for a birthday gift. Ever since then, Sears has been sending me free points, like free points and cash back, whatever. So it's like $10 off a $10 or more purchase. So if I get something for $10, it's absolutely free. And I do store pickup so that I don't have to pay the shipping costs. Like they would do this for the first year. They did it like almost every week. I got Harper so many clothes and I also got my brother all the clothes and stuff that I gave them for his shower. That wasn't my gift to them. I went in with my parents and got them this um, lavish crib for me. But and I helped throw their shower as that that was their gift. But I also got so many clothes for for Mia and Harper from this free money that Sears gave. And then they stopped doing it for a while. Well, today I checked my account. They emailed me and said, "Oh, you have a ten dollar off a of ten dollar." Guys, sorry about that. My parents called and they wanted to talk to me. Um, but I was saying that they said you have. $10 to use on a $10 or more purchase. And I was telling you guys that I went to, I showed you guys Miss Mia's Easter basket and stuff, the custom one that I ordered her. I went to Dollar Tree. I showed you guys that I went to Dollar Tree to get her stuff. I am going to do a haul video on that probably today. But I was telling you in that video that I wanted to get her um, a swimsuit to put in the large egg that I brought and also maybe some sandals. So I was like, let me go check and see what type of baby swimsuits they have available and see if I can get it for $10 or a little more. So they had one that was really cute. It's kind of like, it reminds me of a mermaid, but it has like foil in the, the foil um, design and stuff on it. It's really cute. It's a two piece. So it's like a tank top and you know, the underwear bottom and it's pink and it's really cute. And it was $15. So I literally pay five dollars and like eighty cents, and I'll just pick it up whenever it comes next week or something like that. But I have plenty of time for Easter. Um, but I wanted to record the haul video and then also record the build a Easter basket video early, so that if you guys were interested in getting any of any of the things, then you can still um, find them. So the last thing I have to get for her is some sandals and I'll probably find those while I'm out this weekend or something like that. I do have to go to my client's house today. I need to do my CVS coupon and transactions. Guys, look at all this and I still have more upstairs. I still have two more of the Dove um, shower foams upstairs and I think I have four more lotions upstairs and I'm using a lotion. So really five more lotions upstairs. But yeah, this is this. I went crazy. I got these for 92 cents at Family Dollar. This is the Caress um, shower foams. So I got four of those. And then I ended up doing the Dollar General haul a couple of times. And I got four of these soaps. And then I got two of the Dove shower foams. And I got two from Giant upstairs, too. So I'm good on body wash and lotion probably for more than a year guys because this is just me what i was doing last time i was couponing out is i was splitting my whole stock power with my mom so it wasn't lasting me as long um but now since it's just me i'm gonna stock up on my stuff my laundry is like i have so much laundry stuff now and i only have been couponing for like a month and a half now um, I got more lipsticks and makeups. I've showed you guys that, but I haven't showed you guys everything. I am going to do um, some couponing at CVS today because I have like $18 in extra care bucks that I don't want to expire. So I know I'm going to get deodorant, mouthwash, free toothpaste, and I think I'm going to get some baby Johnson & Johnson products if I can still print the internet coupon because I want to stock up on some stuff for my sister's shower and also my brother and sister-in-law are having a little boy. So, and that's all happening this summer. <laughs> so it's going to be busy. Um, what am I about to do? So I am about to probably shower and head out to the store. I need to go to Target to look for a plant for my client's master bedroom. I'm gonna um, drop off and put together the bench today and probably hang the curtains, I think, if she has spray painted the curtain rods, which I don't think she has, but we'll see if she wants to leave them the color that they are. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to do today, but I just wanted to come in and tell you guys my victory that I have lost 15.2 pounds and I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited, guys. Summertime, fine, coming. Naked summer's coming. Jamaica, I'm coming for you. Okay, me and Brittany was already looking at, um, very sexy swimsuits yesterday so i'm really excited it's gonna be so fun um i 
gotta, so today, I'm not gonna eat breakfast because it's already 10.30, so I think I'm gonna eat a cheese stick and probably take some pickles with me, um, the ones I got from Dollar Tree, and I may, if I stop in another Dollar Tree, get some more because I gave my sister a pack yesterday and I ate a pack, so now I'm down to four packs, and if I eat one today, that'll be three, and I wanna have some during the week. Um, I also need to go through my Wishcom, my refrigerator in... Um, go through all of the veggies and stuff because I definitely have some stuff that is bad that I can tell. I'm going to make that egg roll in a bowl stuff again. That was really good. And I think I'm going to make some um, honey Dijon pork chops again. I may need to get some more Grey Poupon mustard as well. To make it but i'm really excited about making that and yeah i'm probably gonna make a salad or something um this week too but anyway yeah i was talking to my parents for a while lady ate her gourmet breakfast meal the rest of it so she's good for a while um and the only one she had well she has half a chicken one left in the refrigerator and then she has the new york strip strip um flavor one in hearty gravy and i only give these to her like once a week and i split them in half and mix them with her hard um blue buffalo food and she loves it um so yeah i do not need to go to bath and body works but i do got these coupons i showed you guys last night so i'll see i want to get some of the aromatherapy shower gel or foam bubble bath because i haven't tried that yet so next time they go on sale for like five or six dollars hopefully it'll be within the time frame that i can use these coupons and i can get an additional 20 percent off and get a free five dollar and fifty cent gift so we'll see um, but I will talk to you guys later. I'm about to eat a piece of cheese and then what else am I going to do? Eat a piece of cheese and then go get ready. Hey y'all. So your girl is all showered and it is 1118. I'm in the car now. I did grab a few things to munch on just throughout the day while I'm out running my errands. I got my dill pickles and I got some um, cheese sticks and some pepperoni just in case. I'm not hungry right now, but just in case. I did have a cheese stick earlier, but I came on here to tell you guys that your girl went to the restroom again and lost another 0.4 pounds. So now we're up to 14, I mean 15.6 pounds. Now I know once I eat, it's gonna go back up. But I only weigh myself in the morning after I use the restroom so that I can be consistent. But oh my goodness, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so, so, so excited. So what I'm about to go do now is, why did I leave the house right now? I'm going to, first of all, I need to get my eyebrows done. Um, but I need to go to Target. My mom sent me some pictures of some really cute springtime stuff in Target and I'm really, really hoping that I do not purchase it because it looks so pretty and I don't need it. My mom is trying to find out the gender of my sister's baby. And you guys know I'm the only one who knows. So this is getting annoying. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so I'm really hoping that I don't invest in any more things. Because it's, it's just so pretty. But I do need to go to Target. I'm looking for a plant. Preferably a tall one for my client's master bedroom in the corner. Um, and I know Target has some stuff. So I'll probably go to Forestville. What's the closest, quickest way to get to Forestville? I don't know. I guess this way. And then, what else do I need to do? She actually lives in Forestville too, so, um, yeah. Anywho, um, I got the coupons from Kiara, so I need to go do my couponing at CVS. anyway because I need to um, print some coupons if they're still available. Oh, I need to go this way. What am I doing? But I was going to go to Annapolis to go to Whole Foods to today, but I actually have my waxing appointment tomorrow. So I might as well just, and that's in Annapolis too, so I might as well just go tomorrow. And if I was thinking about it, I could have switched my waxing appointment to last night because I was already in Annapolis and I could have went to Whole Foods, went to my sister's appointment and 
got my wax done but I wasn't thinking and it's okay I don't like to be rushed during my wax like I like to be calm and zen during my wax sipping on some H2O some ice water y'all I got on some leggings and a t-shirt because I just had to see myself I like to see my silhouette so I think like things to hug me so that I can see my progress your girl is out here looking skinty okay I'm just telling y'all 15.6 pounds you can't tell me nothing once I hit 20 pounds y'all really not gonna be able to tell me nothing but I actually I think I look really good like this is exciting to me um but anyway enough about the weight loss I'm gonna head into Target to see what they have I did want to stop into Burlington as well but we'll see about that um like I said, I'm really only looking for, um, I'm really only looking for the, the plant for my client, but we'll see guys. Um, I don't really want to start purchasing baby shower stuff only because, I don't know y'all, I just feel like. Is it too early? You know, like, I don't know. We'll see. My mom is like, oh, well, let me give you my cards. You can start ordering stuff. But I really don't want to do that. I, I kind of want to wait until after the gender reveal. And then, uh, I don't know. And we can't decide when the gender reveal is because we're trying to order a special that special bottle. And I'm trying to get the lady to respond back to me to let me know if she can expedite it. I don't know that she can. If not, we have to come up with a plan B. And yeah so the good thing about it is i have all the gen i have gender reveal stuff i have the big balloon i have the uh the poppers i have all of that stuff so i mean but you know how it is she wants to do the bottle so we'll see if that's not an option i'm about to pull out one of something from my my gender reveal stash and let her use it and say hey next weekend we're about to get this thing on and popping so that we can go with the shower and stuff but my mom is gonna call the community center today let me um actually call her and tell her to do that now so i'll talk to you guys later y'all i changed the plans i didn't lost my purse i thought my purse was in my car apparently it's not so i think i may have left it at my parents house because it wasn't where i usually leave it in my house so i assumed i left it in the car So I'm just gonna, I'm not too far from my parents' house, so I'm gonna stop over here to look for it. Of course, my family's not home, so they can't look for it to confirm. But if it's not there, then it must be on my counter at home somewhere under those um, bags that are purchased. But I don't know where, I don't know. I'm hoping it's at my mom's house. It was at my parents' house. So now I'm headed to where I was headed before. Back in business. I told y'all I was gonna make a comeback. I just knew that it wasn't in my house because it's not where I normally put my purse. I always put my purse in the same spot. So, all right. I will talk to you guys if I see anything in the store worth showing you. Um, my whole family is gone. I think my grandmother's home. Maybe my cousin is there, but um, Mia wasn't there, so I didn't see her. And my parents and my sister are gone as well. So I will talk to you guys a little later. Bye. Hey y'all. So I went to Target in Burlington. And your girl left up. I found a lot of stuff for my sister's shower um, in Burlington. And then I found this really pretty pillow. Let me show it to you for my client to put on her bench at the foot of her bench. It was 
it's cream and gold beaded and then i also found the um tree i forgot what you call those trees fiddle leaf trees um it's not a really really tall one but it's at least up to like my chest from the floor it was only 40 dollars there and then i got a ton of stuff for my sister's shower i can't tell you or show you yet because obviously it's a surprise into her gender reveal um but i got a lot of stuff a lot of decor or decor um I did get this from the Target dollar spot. I'm in, on the hunt for the other one. They have another one. Um, this is a sun hat. I'm going to take it to Jamaica with me. And I plan to buy a really nice black swimsuit. Um, so I wanted to wear this with it. With some black sandals. And then I got this for my poo poo. Miss Mia. Although I did get her a pair yesterday from Dollar Tree. I thought these were cute. So yes. I did spend $6 on some Cat and Jack sunglasses for her. But I just thought they were so cute. And they would look so cute on her face. But Cat and Jack. Y'all know y'all need to be ashamed of yourself charge of six dollars for some kids sunglasses and then i also got this because it was on clearance it's one of those uh dishwasher magnets i live by myself so i already know when it's clean and dirty um but you know i thought it was cute and it was only two dollars and eight cents so i went ahead and got it and basically it says sorry we're dirty or it says come in we're clean so that's my target haul and yeah so now i'm headed to get my eyebrows done It's 149. I've been in that store for a long time. Because I went in Target at 12. So it's like 2 now. I'm going to go ahead and snack on some pickles. I am a little hungry. All I had was a cheese stick today. So, yeah. What else? My sister is really excited. She keeps trying to get me to give her hints. But I'm like, nope, you wanted it this way. You wanted it this way. I'm not telling you anything. I hope the lady, I gotta check my Instagram, see if the lady has responded back to me um, about the gender reveal bottle. These pickles taste so good, y'all. Hey, y'all. So I just got my eyebrows done. I don't know if you can see them. Got my lip done, too. Judge your mama. Anyway, um, now I'm about to grocery store um called little little i don't know how you pronounce it but i think it's like a german based um it's kind of like aldi but i like it actually better i'm gonna get some frozen vegetables from there because they're only like 88 cents and at giant they're two for five like 250 versus 88 cents i'm gonna go with the 88 cents and they taste the same to me so I'm gonna go and get like some riced cauliflower, some green beans, some broccoli. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that stuff. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys a little later. I just wanted to show you guys that I did get waxed. I have another wax appointment tomorrow, but that's a different type of wax appointment. Um, and then I'll go to Whole Foods tomorrow to grab. I really want to get some salmon. I, I don't know if I want to go. You guys. So I have a dilemma. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to go to Sam's Club and get like the whole slab of salmon. It's fresh and cut it down. Or. Go to Whole Foods. Or. I don't know. I need to get some pork chops though. I have a whole list of stuff actually. So we'll see what um, I get from Little. And I really can't fit anything else in here. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Y'all, I just left my new favorite grocery store. Little, Lytle, Little, whatever you call it. Do you know, I got two weeks worth of groceries. Like, and when I say two weeks, I went in, I got everything. I may show y'all once I put it all out on my counter. I got everything I needed for two weeks and I paid $106. That included 30 cents for three of their plastic bags because I ain't had no reusable bags and I couldn't buy no boxes in there. What? Do you know if I would've went to the regular grocery store, I would have spent almost $200 on what I got. And I'm talking, I got fresh salmon, uh, I got turkey sausage, I got regular breakfast sausage pad, pork sausage patties, pork sausage links, ground pork, two 
packages of pork chops with the bone in. I got um, fresh chicken tenders. I got two cartons of eggs, like eight or nine bags of frozen green beans and broccoli and spinach, like fresh vegetable, like the fresh cut bell peppers and onions, two containers of that, two containers of salad, a thing of strawberries. I got so much stuff. I got two of my ice drinks. I know it's controversial, but I do drink them from time to time. I got two of those plus a blue Powerade Zero sometimes just to replenish my electrolytes. I got that. I got so much stuff. Two huge packages of thick cut bacon because you know I eat bacon in the mornings. I think a bag of spinach for smoothies if I want to make smoothies. I got so baby bell cheese plus my cheddar cheese sticks. So much stuff, y'all. Y'all, $106. And $10 of that was stuff for someone else. They're going to give me the money for it. So I spent $96. Do you know that's less than $50 a week that I'm eating on? And I used to spend $50 just on lunch for five days. What? Now, the only thing I could not get from there was my Kerrygold butter and a bag of cabbage because I think they were sold out because they have all of the bags of salad and stuff like that but I think they were sold out so I do have to um get that but I got everything like I don't have to go to Sam's I don't have to go to Wegmans I mean not Wegmans Whole Foods I got everything I will only go to Whole Foods if I want to get some I only want to go to Whole Foods if I want to get my um, Lily's chocolate bars. But I still have one more left, so I'll be good for another week with that. Um, but I got everything that I needed except for my Kerrygold butter and my cabbage, and I can get that tomorrow. What? What? There's a grocery store right by the um, waxing place in Annapolis. What? $106. And really $96, because $10 was somebody else's stuff. $96? Plus that included three huge plastic bags for my stuff. What? What? Your girl is over here killing it on the budgeting. Like, I'm killing it. That's crazy. And I got all good stuff, like healthy stuff, nothing, all keto, everything. Everything. I'm like so excited. And I threw an extra baby bell cheese just to see if I liked it, you know? I also got a small package of their bacon wrapped scallops because I wanna compare them to the Whole Foods ones. The uh, Lytle or Little brand of them has way less carbs in it than, than the Whole Foods brand. Now you only get one serving, so it's only, well it's technically it's two servings, but I use it as one serving because I eat six of them at a time for a meal. So it's only six in a box, so that's one meal with a, a green vegetable or vegetable or something but I probably only paid five dollars for it the bag of 20 at Wegmans is like twenty dollars regularly and it was on sale for 15 when I was buying them before so I got so much stuff here. I'm gonna have to show y'all I'm gonna have to show y'all like I got so much stuff and I, I it's worth the drive <laughs> you know it is a little bit further but it's worth the drive it is this is amazing like if y'all have a little by y'all and I would say it's like maybe one step I would say it's a little bit of a step up from Aldi a little bit I just like it a little bit the meats I, you know I'm not a big Aldi shopper but I have shopped there before um but I just really like this but it is I'm telling you guys I'm telling you guys from someone who has eaten the frozen vegetables and the meats for the last two weeks I can't tell the difference it's all it's good I'm telling you it's good um, so I'm excited about that and yeah I just got to show y'all my grocery haul because y'all got to see it to believe it $96 that I spent on my stuff and I got good fresh food that I'm going to cook that's going to be I got stuff to make taco salads I already have the ground beef for that at home I got st I have chicken and some chicken at home oh and I got turkey cutlets too the flat ones because I like to put those on the grill um, and yeah so eat those too I got some turkey cutlets as well um, and I got some fresh chicken strips as well maybe 
or salad or just to eat those. I like those. Um, but yeah, y'all, I got so much stuff, like so much stuff. And I actually got double the peppers and onions this time for um, my sauteed sausage with them because the last time I felt like I needed more peppers. Um, even though those bell peppers have a lot of carbs in them, that I was telling you guys I got look at all this. I got two things of eggs thing of fresh strawberries I even tried some baby um sliced mushrooms because I'm gonna put that in my um stir fry stuff that I make I got two of the fajita bean peppers I got some fresh asparagus another turkey um kielbasa two thick cut bacons two well technically only one of these is mine it's the um bone in pork chops uh ground pork what is this pork breakfast sausage pork breakfast sausage links um fresh chicken tenders turkey breast cutlets fresh salmon these are the scallops wrapped in hickory smoked bacon i was telling you about i tried some broccolini some fresh broccolini this time i've had it before i really like it i got some um salad tomatoes i got two bags of salad a bag of baby spinach i got some cheddar cheese sticks. I tried out some baby bells this time. I got some just shredded lettuce for my taco salads. I also got some taco shredded cheese for my taco salads and some sour cream. I got two of these ice drinks just because I like them. I know they're controversial, but I like them. I do not drink the whole thing in one sitting and I do not drink them every day. I did get one Powerade Zero to replace my electrolytes um, every now and then. I do not drink this whole thing in probably not even two weeks. I just take a few sips at a time. Um, two of these is for someone else. I got a rice cauliflower. I got three frozen um, broccolis and three frozen green beans. And then I wanted to try a chopped spinach this time to see if I liked it. So that is my grocery haul for the next two weeks. Like I said, I do need to stop at the regular grocery store and pick up my Kerrygold butter. And I also need a bag of cabbage for my egg roll in a bowl with my pork, um, shredded pork or my ground pork. I'm sorry, they did not have, they, they were out. So I couldn't get it from there. Um, but this is my grocery haul guys. And it is massive for, $96 minus one pack of the pork chops and two bags of the rice cauliflower. So that's probably about $10, I think, because one of the pork chops was about $4.50 and then these were $2.50 each. So, yeah, that's a lot of stuff, though. Okay, y'all, so this is my food from Sardi's from yesterday. This is the other quarter of the chicken and their green beans are really really good this is the sauce and i actually looked at my ranch label and it has soybean oil in it too so i can have this sauce and i tested this morning i was still in ketosis it didn't kick me out and i just have some water i did just take a few sips of my powerade zero um i like to do that every now and then on the weekends so i'm about to have my lunch because it is y'all it's 4 30 and i'm just now eating all i had today was a cheddar cheese stick and a um, package of those pickles so it's about time for me to eat something I probably won't eat another full meal today honestly because this is a lot um, and uh, as you know this doesn't have any carbs that probably has four carbs in it maybe uh, five carbs maybe it's a lot of green beans I probably won't eat them all but I'm about to eat this and then 
probably get ready to do some CVS deals or record a video for you guys. So I will talk to you guys later. Hey y'all. It is still Saturday, March 16th. It's 7.43 and I'm just leaving another Target. Y'all, I didn't went crazy in that Target again. I found some more in my sister's shower. So that was $25 worth of stuff. But y'all spent $87 on this stuff. I made my first Jamaica, no, my second and third Jamaica purchase. I showed you guys the striped um, sun hat that I got or whatever you call it. Um, striped white and black one. So I'm gonna get a really nice black swimsuit. I found another, a, it's like a clear beach bag, but it's kind of like a checked, a checkered material, I mean a checkered um, print and it's white, I mean black and clear. So that'll go with the whole black and white hat. Now they did have an all clear one with the black handle. I should have gotten that one because my hat is striped, but it's okay. I'm gonna just rock with what I have. Cause I actually like that one. The clear one, you can see everything that's in the bag. And this one has like a, you know, the checkered print on it. So you can't really see what's in the bag. So I think that would be pretty. And then I have a bright orange one, this plastic like that, that I got from Victoria's Secret Pink that I'll bring as well. Um, I got my first Jamaica outfit. And y'all, I got it from the meat from the junior section in a size medium it's the exhilaration brand it's crop top and y'all know your girls do not be messing around with no crop tops it's a size medium yes the pants are snug very snug but by july i'm claiming that i would be in them comfortably and hopefully i'll be a little bit more toned in the belly area but let me tell you i ain't been a medium in forever okay a medium what a me a medium um, so I was really excited about that. Um, the bottoms of that outfit were like 23 and the top was like 18. So it wasn't horrible, but it's really, really cute. Especially if I wear it with some sandals to like dinner or something. Really cute. Really, really cute. So, um, I'm excited about that. What else did I get? I got one of the, the Target beauty boxes. I think that's what they call them. They were originally $14.99 but this was on clearance for $10 and I got it because it has a Shea Moisture Bar Soap, a full size, a Shea Moisture um, Mud Face Mask, which I've already used before and I like it. And then it has a hand cream by a brand called Eden. I've never used that brand um, and I'm not worried about that. I can leave that in my car. But the other thing they have is a Lip Bar Lipstick. And Lip Bar is like a black owned vegan uh, makeup line and they are sold in Target and online, and I've been wanting to try it for a long time. Kiara told me about it, and when I saw that it was included in that for $10, and usually the lipsticks are like $12 and $13, I mean, that's a good deal, so I went ahead and got that. Um, what else did I get? Um, I feel like I got other stuff, but the other stuff may have been, I don't know. Oh, I got a, um, Neutrogena grapefruit face wash because my cousin Courtney told me that she really likes it So I'm going to start using that on my face and see if I like it because I'm almost out of my regular face wash I was using the clean and clear like the morning Burst or something the orange ones with the beads in it And this one is like pink with beads in it. So I'm going to use that um, For a scrub. It's not beads in this one. It's kind of like a scrub consistency um What else did I get? <laughs> I got some, a couple of other things. I don't know what else though. I got a prank gift for somebody, but it's actually useful. It was on clearance for $2, so I'm gonna get, I got that. And then, what else did I get? I think that's it. Y'all, the swimsuits in there look so cute, but I can't bring myself to order, I mean, to buy a swimsuit right now because I want to lose weight. So I'm like, I don't know what size I'm going to be by the time I go to Jamaica. And that's too much money to buy. And then if I try to return them and they don't have my size later on, but I am going to have to buy it, you know, a month 
and a half in advance because I'm not risking them not having any more. Those swimsuits look so good. Like, I'm serious. They look really good in Target. And certain brands. I looked at the Shade and Shore brand. Amazing quality. Very, very good. Um, I looked at some of their one pieces and their bikinis. Looked really, really good, y'all. Like, really, really good. <laughs> so, I'm really excited about swimsuits. Um, I bought some swimsuits last year and I probably don't need any more. But, I'm going to buy some because these swimsuits look so cute. I probably don't need any more sandals. Um, I do need another cover-up. some cover a cover up bottom to wear and just my top out and then I want another cover up that's just is like open in the front you know I don't know I have one cover up but it, it's a pull over your head one so it's closed in the front and I'll bring that as well but I'm really excited about this vacation y'all but I'm most excited about losing this weight like what you ain't about to be at the tail buttons nothing that thing okay <laughs> um and that was my actual favorite target there is another target on the way to my mom's house i mean on the way home which i don't know if i'm going home or not because i can't do my farting and stuff i don't know i need to call my sister and pay for this bottle for her gender reveal right now that's what i need to do because the lady told me i needed to pay today um if I want to stop at that Target or not. We'll see. The uh, first Target I went in didn't have any of this stuff. This one was really cute. And I got some Let's Brunch napkins. It's The, the line is so cute. It's for springtime. Um, and I may host something in the spring with just, you know, the ladies come over or whatever. So I got uh, two packs of the napkins that said Let's Brunch. Um, they didn't have the plates that I wanted. And they also didn't have enough of the glasses that I wanted. So... Yeah, it is what it is. Um, if this Target has it, I may scoop some of them. But they're really, really nice. Like, really pretty. Um, what else? I'll try to record for you guys when I go in Target. I just get so excited, y'all, when I'm in there. And I'll be forgetting to record. I'm sorry. But I'll stop at this Target um, and see what they have. Of the collection I also was in the kitty section and I walked past and I literally stopped in my tracks and gasped for air because I saw the Ryan's world mystery eggs and if you guys don't know those were all the rave during Christmas time and all the parents were looking for them including my friends and we were all going to Target looking for them and nobody could find them they had two so I snapped a picture and sent it to my friends and they both was like Ryan can kiss my egg my kids ain't played with none of his toys since Christmas and they cost all that money money so it was funny i was cracking up in the store but literally like i stopped like i had found you know a unicorn like oh my goodness and they had two of them and they're 40 dollars like that's really expensive so yeah um what else I did record a video for you guys with the Dollar Tree haul. I couldn't record the assumptions video because I left my computer at Kira's house. And since I'm recording on my phone right now, I can't look at the assumptions on my phone. Um, so I need my computer and I left it at her house. So I couldn't do that earlier. So that's why I just went out to another Target. Um, what else do I need to do? I may stop at my mom's house tonight.
but again, it's the Sunday right before I leave town for Jamaica, so I'm happy about that because it'll all be over, and then when I come back from Jamaica, there's nothing else on my plate, like, Mia's birthday party will be over, the baby shower for my brother, or the little get-together that they're gonna have for their, um, son that they're having will be over, my brother's baby will be here by then, my sister's shower will be over, like I'll be done with all of the events, whatever's going to happen for Harper's birthday will be over, well no that won't be over, that'll be the week after I come back I believe if they do something, um, but I'm not sure what's going to happen with that, um, so we'll see. run into this target. Lord knows I don't need to go into a third target today, but this one is a, another nice target. It's not as nice as the one that I like, but it's, it's nice. And I'm pretty sure they're going to have the pants to that outfit in a size large in juniors in here, because I just bought it in the medium. But I think I'm going to keep the medium, because I really want to push myself to get into it. Like, I want to look a certain way in it. I'll be starting week seven so yeah my work challenge or my work um, competition is 12 weeks just in case you guys didn't know so it'll be over at the end of April Target today. I love Target though. Target is bae. When I tell y'all Target is bae, I mean it. And I got a good spot. Good God. Alright, let me run in here and I will show you guys the display if they have it in here. Okay guys, here's the display I was talking about. It doesn't look like they have any more of the glasses and the color um, that I like, but they do have the pictures. Um, they already have some pictures. I just wanted some more of these glasses here. They didn't have them. They don't have them in the pink color that I like. But those are really, really cute. Um, they do have the plates here. And I thought these were cute. Um, these are the brunch napkins that I got. So I think they look cute with the plates. So I may get one thing of plates. I don't know. Maybe two. These are really cute. I don't know how many come in here. Probably 10. Yeah, there's 10 in each. So, I'll probably get one of each plate. And I already have the Let's Brunch. So, I thought that was cute, guys. They also have the um, paper plate version. But, I like the plastic plates better. Um... And they have these for five dollars too but i don't really need these i have gold at home that i can use but i'm kind of bummed because i wanted the um glasses but they don't have them so it's okay i'll just get these plates they are four and five dollars each yeah we'll talk to you guys later oh i found some more vacation hats um this is these are the two i was looking for vacate all day and do not disturb. The only thing is I get my hair braided for a uh, vacation and they're already snug on my head right now and I don't have any braids so I'm a little worried about that. But other than that, it'll be fine. 